Hey, this is Damien from BI Producer. I'm going to be walking you through our Beatmaker plugin. So I'm going into the UVI workstation. You can also do this in Falcon. I'm going to go to a Dr. P library and load up one of his kits. So the Beatmaker is essentially a series of samples that have been hand selected by our producers in order to speed up the beat making process. So the interface is designed like a drum machine. We have four banks of 16 pads and each of these has a different sample placed on them. As you play on a MIDI keyboard or MIDI drum pads, you'll see that the selected sample will be highlighted. With this snare, I can now control the volume, the pan, pitch via semitone, or fine tuning, Now I can reset any of these values to default just by pressing Alt and clicking. There are two filters, a low pass and high pass. Each of these have a cutoff and resonance. Next we have an effects section. So we have an analog drive, which adds harmonic distortion. We have the reverb send. And we have a delay. There is an envelope as well. So full attack, decay, sustain and release. And we have velocity sensitivity. With the fader all the way down, no matter if we play soft or hard, the sample will always play loud. With it up, we'll have full dynamic range. <laughs> Lastly, we have a three band EQ with high, <laughs> low, <laughs> and mid with frequency and Q. <laughs> Next, we have two pitch modes, one called spread. Now this takes the selected sample and spreads it across the 16 pads within the bank. So if we go back to our snare sound and spread it, I can now play it like an instrument. Now if I play sounds within the other banks, I can still edit them. Alternatively, I can take the same sample and spread it across the entire keyboard range. There's a pad lock mode. So as a beat's playing, I may want to work on one of the particular sounds. So if I want to EQ, for example, this snare, whilst the beat's playing, I can lock it. Next, we have the effects tab. Here we can control our reverb settings. So we have a bypass, reverb decay, size, shape, and width. We have modulation, diffusion, roll off, and mix and we've created a few presets for you to get you started. For our delay, we also have bypass, delay time, feedback, spread, and trash. Three delay modes, tape, tape with tube, and analog. We can sync the delay time either to our sequencer tempo with the step, or we can do it by frequency. And then we can control the dry and wet levels. We also have some presets as well for you. Next, we have the master tab. In here, we have single fader mastering controls. We have the big bottom, which adds low frequency energy. Stereo image, which adds some width. We have the exciter, which adds some transient to the mid range and a limiter. Each of these can be bypassed or you can do it globally. Lastly, we have the master dial, and this is the overall volume of our kit. On the left-hand side, we have the ZP12 and the PZ60, and these are two 12-bit reduction modes and mimic vintage drum machines. Thank you very much for checking out the Beatmaker. Be sure to tune into our YouTube channel where we'll have other tutorials and plug-in walkthroughs.